I'm getting married in a little over a year and I want to get rid of my double chin. I have not always had a double chin. It's hereditary and it happens with age. So my mother and her four sisters, they all have a little bit of fat under the chin. I know what I'm kind of destined to if I don't do anything about it. In my family, after 40, the women end up with a little bit of extra under the chin, so I knew grandma and mom had it. I kind of always have had a double chin. I've always had a little bit of fat under my chin, and it's something I'm a little bit self-conscious about. But it doesn't seem to be something that fluctuates based on my weight. It's just kind of always there. I could be, you know, a stick, and I will still have this after 40. Probably I noticed the double chin um, when I turned 30, and it's just been bothering me since then. So there's several options for having a double chin. Things that you can do in the office would be liposuction under local, or you could use Kybella or do something more like a cool sculpting. To me, I love the liposuction because I can really control it. It creates an irritation underneath the skin so that you get a skin tightening unlike the other procedures. So I chose liposuction as opposed to Kybella or CoolSculpt because it's a definitive procedure. It's minimally invasive. I have to get back to work as quickly as possible. So this is a kind of one-time procedure with the least amount of downtime. I've heard about CoolSculpt on TV and I really wanted to see if it would work on me. I think Kybella and liposuction are a little too invasive and this is not. Cool sculpting has the advantage over Kybella or liposuction in that it is non-invasive, it's not painful, it's a very easy office procedure that you can get done in 45 minutes. You go home, there's no downtime, there's no pain, and certainly no discomfort. I chose a procedure like Kybella because I'm very busy and, for example, I'm going to the airport immediately after this treatment. And if I were to have lipo, there's a significant amount of downtime and anesthesia involved, and this way I can just go about my normal life. With Kybella, we're using an enzyme that's specifically formulated to break down fat cells or adipocytes in order to clear them from the area where they're not wanted. It's much better tolerated as far as pain. We've already gritted you out. In order to stay away from the thyroid, I'm gonna not go as low as here. You will look worse before you look better. We are swollen afterwards, usually anywhere between two days and two weeks. So the way Kybella works is it's an enzyme that we all make naturally in our body and we use that to break down dietary fat that we ingest. So we inject the medicine into that area and it breaks down or kills those fat cells. So you don't go into the grid, into those marks, because it can tattoo the skin. I'm going to mark out the area that I want to liposuck and the area that I really want to concentrate on. Then I'm going to add a numbing medicine called lidocaine. Next, I'm going to make two small incisions using an IV catheter. What's different about this liposuction is the cannula that I'm using is very, very small. So it's very well tolerated just using local anesthesia. I'm going to remove the fat. And once I remove that fat, it can never come back again. Now you're just gonna feel a little bit of pressure. You can see that we're starting to get our first little bits of fat. This is to stabilize your head so that you're upright and you can look straight ahead, but you can't move from side to side, okay? Cryolipolysis means basically that the fat cells get frozen. When they get frozen, they actually undergo cell death, and when they die, they get peed out of your body. Cool Mini is very easy in the sense that you only have to do it once, maybe twice if there's a lot of fat. You're gonna sit here for 45 minutes like this. You shouldn't have any pain or any discomfort. I do feel like the machine is working. I can definitely feel it pulling my skin and getting cool. So I'm Snapchatting right now. Afterwards, we're gonna massage you because it comes out, it looks a little bit like frozen butter. Two little stitches just to make sure this heals as beautiful as we possibly can get it to heal just really nice definition. You're ready to continue your day. I did notice an immediate difference when I looked in the mirror. It looks a lot flatter and a lot more contoured than before, so I'm very excited. Well done. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> I'm excited and I'm happy that I just finished my first treatment of Cabela and I'm looking forward to the results. The doctor said people usually get two to six and she anticipated I would probably have around three.
So it's been two and a half months and I'm feeling great. I definitely notice um, that it's much flatter. There's really no scar there, just a teeny little dot, if anything. So that now it's about two and a half months later, and I think you can already see that most of the swelling is gone, yeah. but it takes about six months until you're really going to get that skin tightening. I'm definitely really glad that I chose liposuction over the other options that are available because it was a one-time procedure. It was so quick. It's been four months since I've gotten my cool sculpt and I feel great. Recovery process is really easy. There is really no pain and no downtime. Okay, it looks really, really good. I think there's a tiny, tiny little bit of fat left. And what I would do now is do a tiny bit of Kybella into the residual area here, and that will tighten up. I wasn't surprised by the results. It was pretty much what I expected. I would definitely do cold sculpt again on my chin and other areas. It's been six months since my first treatment and five weeks since my last treatment, and I'm really excited about the results. So the first time I had it done, I had the most fat, so I had the most dramatic result um, after the injections. And I actually went straight to LaGuardia from my first treatment, and I had so much bullfrogging that I had to wear like a fur wrap all the way around myself. I noticed a big change after my second treatment. It started looking really good. And then every treatment hurt less, recovered quicker, and looked better. People who didn't know I was having it done have been responding on my social media in the last two weeks saying best chin ever, which is really awesome. <laughs> I'm really happy with the results. I'm so glad, I love it. I think you look great. Even months after Kybella, the last treatment, you're still continuing to see benefit. I noticed the results were amazing like four or five weeks after. Perfect. I really liked Kybella because it was very easy to schedule it in my day in between appointments and it was literally no downtime other than some embarrassing swelling and bruising. Honestly, to anyone who's considering getting rid of their double chin, just do it. Kybella, it's easy, it really doesn't hurt that much and it doesn't take that long and it, the results are like phenomenal. Hey there, it's Jenna Rosenstein, Senior Beauty Editor for Bizarre.com. I hope you loved that video because guess what? We have a special event coming up on our YouTube channel called Beauty Week. The week of November 12th, we'll have five beauty videos and surprises I promise you won't want to miss. So don't forget to subscribe, follow us on all of our social media channels for more information, and uh, go ahead and watch that next video. Bye!